Post-game highlights are brought to you by Farm Burguesa. Check out Farm Burguesa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers and keep an eye out for their new location coming soon to Grandin Village. Cam in a 0-0 game, 16-25 to go in the period. A shot trickles in, they score. Same honors that Real Yard Dogs goaltender Brad Barone had last season. Well, he hasn't been tested much. Now into the slot, the Dogs with a chance. Carbonero to the backhand. What a move! He scores! Patriot Carbonero! Filthy mids, top shelf on Parks. And then Armstrong, Armstrong feeds one in front. It's loose off the post, knocked in. They score! That's Colin Murray cleaning up the mess. A power play goal and the game is tied. Murray's first of the playoffs. That's two to two! The two on one, Davis sending it forward. It was blocked by Armstrong, but bounced right back to Davis, puts it in the net, and he scores. Got to deflect it, it goes wide, they feed it in front. Jensen scores! Mac Jensen ties the game with less than four seconds to go in the second period. The dogs don't give up on it, and it's three to three! Chuck the game in the zone, barely on side. They feed it to Krokok, deflected through the legs of Caffrey. They score. For a loop. Meanwhile, the Bulls gain the zone, and now a fight as Nenadol is going after it with Casey Kulzicki. And the jersey of Nenadol is off. It came off. Kulzicki ripped it off of him. Kulzicki was down on the ice, and there were only a couple of, pu of punches thrown. And you wonder if Nenadol is going to get in any trouble with the fight strap not being connected there. No sound. And that's going to do it. The Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs have dropped game one of the semifinals. The final score, Birmingham four and Roanoke three. These were your post-game highlights brought to you by Farm Burguesa. Stop by Farm Burguesa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers and watch out for their new location coming soon to Grandin Village.